Good evening and welcome back to NAZ Today. I'm your sports reporter, Michael Manny. Following a last place finish in the Big Sky last season, the NAU men's basketball team has added two impact guards via the transfer portal. In the University of South Dakota's Xavier Fuller and Grand Canyon's Liam Lloyd. I caught up with two of the newest Lumberjacks to discuss their decisions to join the program. Take a look. When University of South Dakota guard Xavier Fuller entered the transfer portal, he said he knew exactly where he wanted to go. I wanted to come back home and, and be closer to home so uh, my family can come see me play more and, and friends and stuff like that. Transferring to NAU is a win-win for Fuller. Not only is he back in Arizona, he's reunited with head coach Shane Burkar, who was his high school head coach at Mesa. It's kind of like a... Um, a story like you can't make this up but you know it's a blessing really to have you know the privilege to be coached by someone that you know you you love being coached uh with in high school and then you know you get to finish out your college career with this coach another positive for fuller was his new teammates some of whom he was already familiar with i met the uh the team at my team the teammates and uh you know they were cool um i actually know a lot of them from uh you know, Arizona guys like Carson Tau, me and him were pretty close, so um, it's a great environment, man. It honestly is. And Fuller isn't the only new addition. Liam Lloyd, son of U Arizona men's basketball head coach Tommy Lloyd, is transferring from Grand Canyon. In two seasons with the Antelopes, Lloyd scored 44 total points, averaging over five and a half minutes in 30 games. When it came to choosing his new team, Lloyd said it came down to where he felt most wanted. I wanted to go somewhere in my process where I felt like the coaching staff had the most belief in me. Like, I felt like Coach Burkar and his staff from the first day, like, believed in me 100 percent and they were all in on me. Lloyd will also have an added bonus as a lumberjack. Because of the two schools scheduling deal, Lloyd may get the chance to play against his dad. I don't know 100 percent on if the game will be played. Yes, but uh, but I mean, if I get to play my dad, I'm gonna you know take it on head on, and we're gonna try to we're gonna try to get him. You know, we're gonna give him a run for their money. So. Michael Manny, NAZ today. And next, let's move over from the court to the diamond to check in on high school baseball going on around the city. Last season, the Flagstaff Eagles lost just one game and went undefeated in the Grand Canyon region on the way to the state tournament. This season, after losing several seniors last year, the Eagles are just 1-5 in, in region play entering today. The team sits at an even 6-6, six six, with six games to go in the regular season. But one region they have dominated, however, is Phoenix's Skyline region. The team is 4-0 against Tempe, Moon Valley, Greenway, and 15th ranked St. Mary's. Multi-sport star Spencer Smith had a slow start to the year, but he's been on fire as of late. He has a homer and 16 RBIs since March 16th. On the other side of town, the Coconino Panthers are ranked 13th in the conference, sitting at 9-4, 6-2 in region play. They've been hitting the cover off the ball recently, coming off a 19-1 win over Mingus April 7th. Nine of the 12 Panthers hitters had a hit in the win, with junior Quinn Mickelson hitting a home run and driving in four runs. The two teams will meet for their annual two-game series next week, but this year, there's a new twist. April 19th game is being played in Phoenix at Chase Field, the home of the Diamondbacks. First pitch is set for 3.30. Well, that's all we have for sports tonight, but stay tuned for your weather recap with Hannah Ware after the break.